Hey, it's Joey from Webs Online, and today we're going to put together a submersible Pondmaster pump and filter kit. As you can see, we have everything laid out, uh, and this is a submersible filter, submersible pump, fountainhead kit, all in one. There are smaller options and larger, but in this feature, we're going to focus on the 1250 kit, which is the submersible uh, 250 gallon per hour pump. So this is the flat box filter. This rests right on the very bottom of the pond. Comes with two filter pads. You have your white polyester and your black carbon impregnated pad. It sits right in the box, and you have a slotted lid and handle that just snaps right on. So basically how this works is your submersible pump hooks to the box uh, and when you turn the pump on, everything that's drawn through the pump is getting drawn through the top uh, of these filter pads. So you have your adjustable fitting that threads onto the box. And you have your small section of three quarter inch kink free tubing. You can cut this shorter if need be. Then you have your female coupling, which will thread right on the intake of the pump. And you have your two fountain riser stems. You could use one or two depending on the height. We'll use one for this quick video. And you have two options for a fountain head. You have your bell fountain and you have your adjustable spray. And there's a small set screw right in the center. You can actually turn this dial and get about three different decorative sprays out of this one head. So this kit's perfect for those small ponds under 600 gallons. There are smaller and larger kits available in this family. So you have multiple options depending on your pond size. I will leave you with one quick tech tip. When you do pull this filter out to clean it, keep the pump running just before you pull it out. It actually keeps suction on the filter pads. If you were to unplug this pump, all the suction releases and the debris actually comes out. So when you do unplug it, make sure you have it just at the surface and then unplug it. So there you have it. You have a tech tip. You have options depending on your pond size. I'm Joe from Webs Online.